What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Lennox Lewis, Big Up England, Big Up Tyson Fury, and Barry McGuigan. Get this, Hall of Fame fighter turned pundit. Barry McGuigan is in no doubt who comes out victorious in a fantasy fight between Tyson Fury and Lennox Lewis. Lewis is down in history as one of the greatest heavyweight champs of all times, which just two defeats to Haseen Rahman and Oliver McCall both avenged. The Lion boasts an incredible record of 41 wins from 44 fights with 32 knockouts along the way. And in a separate social media post, Barry McGuigan, a former featherweight and cha world champion, made it clear who or how a prime versus prime fight would go between the two, Tyson and Lennox. He says, I don't hate anyone, but I know Lennox Lewis would have destroyed Fury. Compare their resumes. There is no comparison. Those are the facts. There is no way that Fury is better than Lennox Lewis. Not a chance. Tyson Fury is not nearly the physical specimen that Lewis was in his prime. Lewis would, would beat Fury up and knock him out in the championship rounds. Wow. Those are the words of Barry McGuigan and let me counterpunch. Um, resume, uh, physicality, that's, no, that, that's a no-brainer. That's all Lennox Lewis. But if he's comparing, he's, sta he's stating that's facts. The facts are Lennox Lewis has a better resume. That's factual based on what he's already, based on what he's done because he's retired, right? Well, Tyson hasn't finished yet. But that doesn't mean that Tyson is an easy pick up for Lennox Lewis. Even though I, I don't think Tyson Fury is 6'9", I think he's might, maybe 6'8". Because I've seen Lennox Lewis and Tyson, and Tyson Fury eye to eye, and he doesn't look like he's two or three inches above Lennox Lewis. They look at each other eye to eye, bro. But just because you have the resume doesn't mean Tyson Fury won't be, end up victorious. I just think Lennox Lewis just has more uh, tools. But so does Tyson. Tyson is a versi versatile fighter that can change on the fly. So if he sees Lennox Lewis... Uh, victorious at doing something, he can easily switch up his game plan like we've seen him do. You know, he's also elusive. Now, in the later parts of his career, he stood firmer and sat down on his punches, okay? And he's stopped everyone that he's been in there with since he's been with the Crunk Style with uh, Emmanuel Stewart by way of um, Sugar... Javen Hill. Okay, so I think if anything, Tyson Fury would bring a lot to the table with Lennox Lewis, but the style that he has, the aggressive style that he has, he wouldn't beat Lennox, I don't think. But I don't think it would be easy for Lennox either. Because Tyson Fury, again, knows how to switch up his style. So even if he came Crunk's style at Lennox Lewis, it would be a lot of roughhouse tactics. But Lennox Lewis is physically strong as well. So not only can he uppercut you and then grab you and rough you up, you know what I mean? He can knock you out and do all the same things at the same time. So what Tyson feels he can do, Lennox Lewis also can do. I think it would be one of the best fights that goes down in history because Lennox, Lennox and Tyson, Tyson will be herky and jerky because he's going to know that I can't just throw caution to the wind or throw any combo at Lennox Lewis without getting countered. This isn't Deontay Wilder. This isn't one punch at a time. This is four or five. So I do think uh, Lennox Lewis would come up on top, but it's not a, just a far gone conclusion because Tyson Fury is one bad mother sucker. Regardless of the antics he plays outside the ring, he's still one of the most talented fighters of this generation. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Barry McGuigan stating that Lennox Lewis would have destroyed Tyson the Gypsy King, of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace!